welcome back to Tech Tip Tuesday. It's nearing the end of the year, and our guess is many of you are staring inventory right in the face. In this week's tip, I am going to show you how you can quickly print a list of your active materials to take note of the quantities you have on hand and where to quickly update those quantities in Job Boss. When we're in Job Boss, we are going to ex uh, go under the Modules tab and expand Material Control. Under Material Control, you are going to see Material Adjustments and Location Adjustments. In Material Adjustments is where you would be updating one material at a time. But I was talking about doing something quick and efficient and doing one material at a time is not necessarily quick and or efficient. So we want to go into location adjustments where we can update the quantities of multiple materials at one time. There is obviously more functionality that we're not discussing in material adjustments, but today we're talking about updating inventory for multiple materials at one time. So in location adjustments, there are various ways that I can sort or filter this list. I could type my material ID in here, but again, we're talking about materials as in plural, where we want to update multiple, not material as in one. So I could come over to any of these other drop downs and I could change this to my status of active, which is what I mentioned that we we're going to do is update our active inventory. And then I could even take it one step further and go to my type drop down and select one of my four different types of materials, which would be raw stock, hardware, supplies, or finished goods. Today we're going to take a look at how we can update our finished goods inventory. So we're going to select our type and we're going to hit show list. Now from there, you're going to see a list of all of your active materials or I should say all of your active finished goods from your material master file with their material ID, their description, where they're located, and if there's a lot number associated with them, what that lot number is. So if I scroll up here, we can see also our original on-hand quantity is actually what our current on-hand quantity is. But we want to update quantities. We want to print something off to bring out onto the shop floor with us so we can actually write this down and then come back into Job Boss and update this information. Well, I've got just the thing for you, and that's the fact that you can print this screen right here. Now, I can do that by simply hitting this print button that I'm hovering over right now. If you want to see how this is going to print, you can use our print preview button. So if I select that button, you can see the exact format that this will print in. And if you want to reformat it, you have the option to reformatting it. But this is great because I can now print this off and bring it out into my shop floor or my warehouse and I can write down my inventory counts next to this, bring this list back to me and update all of those inventory counts in Job Boss. Now to do that, the first suggestion I would tell you to do is create a user code for a reason for physical inventory. You can see that we've created that physical inventory user code, so I'm going to select that option here. And that way, when I update these on-hand quantities, it's going to tell me in reporting why I've just changed the amount of material we have in inventory. Now that I've got that list, I um, went out on my shop floor for part of the day today. I've counted all of my finished goods inventory. I'm going to come here, and I'm going to look at what my original on-hand quantity is. And if there's a change that needs to be made, I'm going to click into the new on-hand quantity. So for this one, the comp compression spring, I found that I actually only had 1800 in inventory so I'm going to update this to be 1800. The next one down I found that we had 1250. Uh, my 6 inch roller shaft I found that we had 300 of those in inventory. Um, way off but that's what it is now. Uh, this one we had 802, this one we had 550, so on and so forth. So you get that when I'm going through here I'm just typing in what that new on hand quantity is. Now you might be looking at this and saying, okay, well there's a bunch of zeros in there. Does that mean that for my extensive list that I need to go through and um, update the quantity to be the original on-hand quantity if I want that number to be retained? And the answer is no. If you want your original on-hand quantity to be changed to a zero, 
you would physically, or I shouldn't say physically, but you would manually have to type that number in. So let's see, for our 8 inch roller shaft, it looks like we only have one location for that. So if I come to my 8 inch roller shaft and I realize that I no longer have 500 in inventory, for some reason I have that in my system, but physically out in the shop floor we really only have zero of them. I would actually have to come to this field and type in a zero manually and then I'd hit my tab key on the keyboard and now that will be updated to a quantity of zero once I save and then re-hit my show list button here. Now before I do that I do want to highlight that you're gonna see that these new on hand quantities will then become our new original on hand quantity and these will all go back to zero. Now the ones with zeros next to them of course those will not update to zero unless I manually type that in like I did for the 8 inch roller shaft. So again you're gonna save hit show list and then you can see right here my 8 inch roller shaft was highlighted right away our original on hand quantity is now set to zero now if I scroll up you're gonna see that some of these other ones that I didn't put a value in retained their number of whatever their original on hand quantity was and then the ones that we changed have now taken on that new original on hand quantity now I did mention you selecting a reason and there is a reason why you selected your reason reason so we're gonna go under the reports tab and I'm gonna show you why you did select that so under reports if you expand material control and you wanna to go to your transaction register report to see why did we update or what was the dollar amount or what is the reason why we updated that we could come here we're gonna select finished goods and I'm gonna do a date range of today's date um, so we can see those changes that have been made we'll hit our little blue running man here to generate this report and then we can go through and we can see all of the materials that we've just adjusted what the reason was what the quantity of d adjustment was and really again what the dollar amount or how did the dollar amount affect our cost of inventory so that's really all I've got for you today on this Tech Tip Tuesday. Um, I thank you for joining us, and I wish you good luck on your inventory this year. And please join us in the next two weeks for another Tech Tip Tuesday. Take care, everybody, and thanks again.